In the search for possible life outside planet Earth, we often first look for signs of water. Water is an essential molecule to all forms of life we know, and the structure of water gives rise to properties that influence its biological function. A water molecule is made from two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom joined by covalent bonds. A covalent bond is an intramolecular force. It joins atoms to make molecules. In a covalent bond, atoms share electrons. Think of this sharing like a tug of war. The sharing can be equal if the atoms have similar electronegativities, or the sharing can be unequal if one of the atoms has a stronger attraction for the shared electrons. In the case of a water molecule, the oxygen atom has a stronger affinity for the shared electrons, and therefore these negative electrons are found closer to the oxygen atom. This makes the oxygen side of the water molecule slightly more negative, while the hydrogen atoms are relatively less negative and therefore partially positive. This unequal distribution of shared electrons and the resulting partial charge difference across the molecule is called polarity. Water is a polar molecule. A simple magnet has two poles with opposite charges. Our planet has a magnetic field with a north and south pole. The term pole describes two opposite points. Water is polar because one side of the molecule is slightly negative, while the other side of the molecule is slightly positive. I want to clarify that there is a difference between polar and charged. Polar describes an unequal distribution of electrons across a molecule when electrons are shared in a covalent bond. But sometimes the electronegativity difference between two atoms is great enough that one atom can snatch an electron away. Charged or ionic describes an atom or molecule that has entirely lost or gained an electron. Regions of partial charges in polar molecules are sometimes labeled with a special symbol, whereas ions will always have a positive or negative symbol. It is not appropriate to describe water as charged, it is polar. Because of water's polarity, water molecules are attracted to each other. The partially negative oxygen of one water molecule is attracted to the partially positive hydrogen of another water molecule. This attraction is called a hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonds are intermolecular forces, or attraction between two molecules. Water's attraction for itself is called cohesion. The cohesion of water molecules explains several interesting properties of water. Water has a high surface tension, which is a measure of how difficult it is to break the surface of a liquid. Within the liquid, water molecules are hydrogen bonding with all surrounding water molecules. At the surface, there are no above molecules to attract, and therefore the molecules here exert all their attractive forces on the molecules found next to and below them. Think of it like this. Imagine you were trying to yank a bag out of my hands. It would be easier to break a bag away if I'm holding on to many. It would be more difficult to break one bag from my hand if I'm using all my grip on it. Cohesion is strongest at the surface. This explains why certain insects are able to stride across water, and how water can hold itself into large droplets without breaking. Water is attracted to certain other molecules as well. This is called adhesion. Water is attracted to other polar molecules, as well as charged ions. A good example of both adhesion and cohesion can be observed in the water transport vessels of plants. Water is attracted to the polar wall of the vessel. This is adhesion. Water molecules attract other water molecules. This is cohesion. Adhesion and cohesion help to pull water up the plant against gravity. Another example of both adhesion and cohesion is water droplets on a window, windshield, or shower door. The water sticking to the glass is adhesion. The water is held into droplets by cohesion. Here we can see water interacting with sodium and chloride ions from salt, as well as glucose, another polar molecule. Such molecules that readily interact with water are described as hydrophilic, or water-loving. Molecules that do not interact with water are described as hydrophobic, or water-fearing. This includes nonpolar, uncharged molecules like fat and oil. One final thing to mention 
is that cells and their external environments contain aqueous fluids. The properties of water play an important role in the balance and transport of materials into and out of cells.